Hey guys, it's Jacqueline, and today I wanted to film a what's on my iPhone video. I know that I love watching these videos. I always think it's so interesting to learn about different apps that people use and different apps people use to edit their Instagram photos and all that. So I thought that maybe you guys would be interested in seeing what I have on my phone. So I thought I would share that with you guys today. And oh, I also just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you for 5,000 subscribers. It honestly blows my mind that 5,000 people have subscribed to my channel. It's so incredibly cool. So thank you so much to anyone who's like supported me or liked my videos or commented or just yeah supported me in general so thank you so much it honestly means the world to me but yeah without further ado we might as well hop into the iPhone video okay so this is the phone that I have right now it's just the iPhone 5s and it's the white and gold one and I've just got a clear case on it right now so nothing too crazy so we might as well just go on into it so as you can see I've got a very hard and difficult password on my phone Okay, so starting with the first page, I guess I'll start with the background. I've just got like this like water background thingy. It's like rippled water, I don't know. Um, I found it on the internet one day. But I've always had that as my background, so it kind of seems weird now to change it. It just looks weird, my phone. And that's like with a lot of the setup of my phone. If I move anything around, I just, I'm so in the habit of my apps being where they are. It just confuses me. So this is just like the setup I've honestly had on my phone for like three years. Okay, so I guess we'll just start with the bottom apps here. So I just have my mail app, my phone app, my camera, and my messages. Those are probably my most used apps other than like social media apps. So it's nice to have them down there. Okay, so starting with the apps up here, I've got my calendar app, which I've actually really recently fallen in love with. I used to be a completely like paper and pencil kind of girl. I have like my actual um, calendar and agenda daily planner thingy that I like to write in because I like like seeing things on paper. Um, so I used to never use like my calendar app or anything like that. But recently when I like get a lot more busy, it's nice to have um, all my schedule on like the calendar and I really like how they sync up with like my laptop and um, all my other Apple devices, which is really cool. So I've actually been really into that app lately. So FaceTime, obviously I use like a ton to FaceTime my family back home and contacts, not too exciting. YouTube, you guys obviously know that I love this app. Um, I honestly use it all the time. Settings, iTunes, Safari, App Store, just all the standard ones that it comes with. Then I have my photos, which is actually a mess right now and needs to be cleaned out. You know when you just get to that point where you just have so many photos on your phone, you can't even like organize them or go through them or find what you're looking for? I just need to go through and like purge a bunch of like pointless photos. I just have way too many photos on my phone right now. And then I've got my music app. I actually don't have, oops, ah, that's not what I wanted. Um, I actually, oh my god, these nails are such a pain to like go on your phone with. I actually don't have too many songs on it right now. I basically just have like Beyonce, Ed Sheeran, One Direction, and Miley Cyrus. And I also have like a sleep app, or a sleep app, um, a sleep playlist, which is just like really soothing and calming songs that help me fall asleep. And I have like a few like workout playlists. But yeah, I don't have too many songs on my phone right now. I should probably update that. Um, I've got Instagram and Twitter, which are probably my two favorite social media apps. I love Instagram so much. Um, I just, yeah, I could go through Instagram and look at different photos for like ages. Um, I'll leave all the links to my social media down below as always if you want to check mine out. So yeah, love, love, love Instagram. And then next I have my Twitter app, which I love, and yeah, obviously Twitter is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. I remember when I originally got Twitter, which was I think back in like the start of like 2011 maybe. Um, I had no idea how to use Twitter. I was like, how do you talk to people? And uh, I just had no idea. Little would I know, <laughs> like four years later, here I am addicted to it. Okay, so then moving on from kind of like the regular apps, I've got four little like, um, what are they called? The little boxes with more than one app in them. Um, I've got four little ones at the bottom and they're actually pretty random, but I'll go through them and show you. Okay, so I've got IMDB, which is so useful, especially when you're watching a show or a movie and you're like, I've seen that actor before. What other movies are they in? And then you can just IMDb them and check it all out. Then I've got my banking app, my Rogers app, just to see like if I've gone over my data. Then I've got Netflix, which has been getting a ton of use lately. I've recently been re-watching the Friends series. And oh, it's just, it's such a good series. Love that. And then I've got the Yelp app, which is actually so great. It's really cool because you can basically search a keyword or a restaurant or a chain of restaurants. Um, or really anything on Yelp and you can get reviews from other people and see pictures and it's a really good place to find a restaurant if you're in an area you haven't been before or I know for me like I'll just search like vegan bakery and I'll just go to something close by so I really like that and it's really cool to see like actual photos from customers which I really like so I use that app a ton as well Then I have videos I honestly don't use that then I've got tumblr which I use a ton I find tumblr is one of those things that like I'll use right before bed I'll just scroll through it and ugh, I could go on tumblr for hours 
And then I've got Vine and BuzzFeed. <laughs> BuzzFeed is probably one of my all-time favorite apps that I have on my phone. I think BuzzFeed is so funny and it's just really good too if you get really bored or if you're trying to kill some time. They just have so many interesting and entertaining apps, or um, not apps, the different articles. And they've got different videos and I just think they're so hilarious. And I'm actually really excited because BuzzFeed is opening an office out of Toronto, which I think is so cool because BuzzFeed is just great. BuzzFeed is so good. And then I also have um, Uber, which is good if you need an Uber. And then I've got iTube, which is really great because it downloads videos um, so that way you can like watch them and listen to them without using any data or Wi-Fi. So if you're going on like a plane or you're going somewhere where you won't have any connection, it's really useful for that. So I really like that. And then I've got The Hunt, which I don't really use that often. I got it a while ago because I heard everyone else talking about it. Um, yeah. Then in the next one, I just have some utilities. So I just have um, just the regular ones that your phone comes with. I really just use like the maps and the weather out of this one. Oh, that was a lie. I also use like notes and reminders. I find them really useful as well. So yeah, those are just those guys. Nothing too crazy. Moving on to this one, this is just the games app, which I honestly don't use at all. I don't know why I have these all on my phone. So yeah, these are just some games. Um, like I said, I don't use them too often, but these are my favorite games if I was to play with any of them. And oh my gosh, this app is so funny right now. I've been seeing everyone making their My Idol cartoon things. I know I posted one on Instagram as well. I think they're so, so funny. It makes you into like a cartoon and you can like sing and dance and all these hilarious things. So yeah, I've actually been really liking that one. It's a lot of fun. Moving on to the next little container. This is kind of my little Instagram app editing collection of apps, I guess. And these are basically the ones that I use on the first page here. I really don't use any of these guys back there. So I've got VSEO Cam, which is all right. And then I have Afterlight and PicFix, which um, are probably my two favorite editing apps. Um, I'll just show you how they work. Okay, so I've got this picture here, which I took of like my juice the other day. And um, I'll just show you like the different filters and stuff that they have. I really like the one with like the um, buffaloes on it. I really like all the filters in there. I use Finn and Russ a ton. I really like them. I think they look really nice. Um, so it's really cool because you can adjust them, but then they also have different like light leaks and things like that if you want to throw those on top as well. I don't know why, but sometimes it kind of fits the picture and you can like adjust the grain and crop them and change the saturation and all that stuff. Um, so I really like that app. And then PicFX is actually pretty similar. They just have a ton of different um, filters and stuff inside. I really like this PFX5 and I also use the black and white in here a ton. Where is it? Yeah, these guys here. I really like their black and white filters. I think they're really nice. So I use that for that. And then I've got Square Ready Video and Square Ready just for like photos. I really like those apps. I like balance back and forth between using um, like white borders on my pictures and not. I am like the worst person at keeping a theme or keeping like a nice aesthetic on my Instagram. I don't even try anymore. I just try to make the picture look nice. And then I've got pick collage if I need to make a collage, reflection for doing the reflection, obviously. I don't know why I have two collage ones. Um, and then I have 8mm. I actually really like this app as well. It just kind of makes everything look like an old, like, vintage retro movie, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, that guy's really fun. And then that is basically everything on the front page. I just have a few other ones on here. So I have this little box here, which is just kind of like health apps. I don't really use any of them. And then this is just another folder with apps that I really don't use. I've just thrown them in a folder and tried to forget about them. Then I have my studio app here, which is actually really great. It's a great way to reply to comments and um, just like look at your um, statistics for your videos and all that. So I really like this app. It's so easy just to kind of like reply to a comment and um, thumbs up a comment, which is really cool. And then getting to the end here, I also have Sleep Cycle, which is probably one of my favorite apps. I use it literally every single night. I use this instead of doing like the alarm or using the clock on the phone. I just really like the way this one works. So basically you can set your time um, that you want to wake up. So I normally wake up around 8 o'clock, but it's really cool. It doesn't wake you up at exactly that time. It'll wake you up like between either a 15 minute span or a 30 minute span. You can kind of like set it. So I normally do mine between like a 15 minute span. So what you do is you set your alarm, then you put your phone like face down on your bed and it's really cool because it kind of like tracks your movement I guess in your sleep. I'm not really sure how accurate it is, but it seems to make sense. It will show you when you're like moving a lot or when you're tossing and turning in your sleep and what it tries to do is wake you up when you are in like your lightest sleep so it doesn't want to wake you out of like a dead sleep. 
Um, so if it finds you're kind of rolling around or your breathing's kind of, I don't know, different, it'll wake you up then versus when you're like in a deep dead sleep. So I don't know, it's kind of cool to see um, your statistics and you can kind of like add different things like if you worked out that day or if you drank caffeine or like different things that could potentially affect your sleep. So it's kind of cool just to like, yeah, see how your sleep is going. I don't know, sleep is something that's really important to me. So I think it's kind of cool to track your sleep. And then the last app that I have on my phone is Snapchat, which I actually don't even like have made yet. I downloaded it because a bunch of you guys were tweeting at me to make it and I was like, I don't even know what Snapchat is. Um, so I downloaded it, but I haven't made an account yet. I honestly don't really know how it even works and what the big deal about it is, but yeah, maybe I'll make an account if you guys want me to. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've got Snapchat or um, if you think I should get it. But yeah, that is everything that's on my iPhone. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I had a ton of fun filming this one. Definitely let me know in the comments below what editing apps you like and what apps for your phone that you like to use because I'm always down to try out some new apps. Um, do I have anything else to tell you guys today? Hmm. Nope, I think that's everything. Okay, um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!